Scorpio. What is going on, baby? It is me, right? It is she, right? It is me, right? It is Scorpion, right? It's Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you guys know the energy surrounding you for 2021. February. 2021, baby. We in here to have some fun. Shout out to all my OG. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. Thank you guys so much for all the support and all of the love. Thank you so for all of the cash out donations the paypal donations and thank you for all of the amazon those are my favorite y'all if y'all ever want to send some support or love to the page if these videos resonate and you just guys want to you know send a dollar or two check and see if there's something cheap on the amazon wish list that y'all can send on over that can help support my page so again i appreciate every last little offer tidbit message of love that you guys send me thank you for all of the messages and um my uh instagram messenger when you guys send me those messages just saying that the videos resonate all the emails that you guys send me send the love i really do appreciate all of the thoughtfulness and the love so again big love to all of you guys if there's anybody that would like to support or would like to book a personal private reading the best way to do so is by clicking the description on this video or check the about tab on my youtube page it has my pricing list for um booking and the various ways to communicate with me again the best way to communicate with me is instagram messenger if you don't have instagram messenger just email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com all right so again thank you you guys for all the love and support and you know Scorpio we always give praise and thanks and acknowledgement to Father God the creator the universe whatever it is that you want to call them so if you guys wouldn't mind bow your head with me let's just give God some praise and thanks Father God thank you so much for coming down and swooping us up and putting us in your arm and you know just covering us and just nurturing us and just giving us the guidance and um the wisdom that we need, Father God, you know, the most important thing that people um, don't take advantage of is just communication, like open lines of communication and just being able to sit back um, to someone that is wiser, that has a lot of wisdom that, you know, is just generous with information, uh, just being able to talk to people that is like an overflowing pool of wealth when you have the right nurturing body mind and soul that is giving you that information that that, that is sometimes the right information from the right healing source can be worth more than its weight in gold because the right information the right source of inspiration can help change somebody's life where they were poor and could turn them to a millionaire. Just one conversation could change a person's life. So sometimes it's not all about money. It's about the wealth of knowledge. You know? And the wealth of empowering that knowledge. Alright? So let me not get into much into to, into the deep stuff father god we just here to just get the guidance and the knowledge that we need and the clarity for the sign of scorpio we just thank you so much for again wrapping us up and taking us in your arms and just giving us the warmth and the nourishment and the love that we need father god continue to um you know protect us in your grace father god and um put us in the correct place give us guidance for the sign of scorpio for november november for february 2021 <laughs> thank you so much for all the blessings in jesus day we pray amen in november lord jesus how the hell i done skipped all the way to november 2021 jesus help me all right so listen, father god please give us guidance for scorpio for february 2021 thank you so much give me guidance for scorpio february i'm gonna give a big happy valentine's day shout out to all my babies that's out there in love okay hello give me guidance for scorpio oh okay give me guidance for scorpio for february thank you so much please give me guidance for scorpio Oh, you guys got feelings too. Feelings. So deep in my feelings. So it says emotions want to be felt. 
You really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it. Allow me, dear divine, to offer you all emotions. To feel them fully so they no longer hold me captive. It's something that you've been feeling that you need to nurture. You need to provide space and opportunity for these feelings, Scorpio. So that they can truly be felt. And so that, you know, spirit can be met. And can, you know, gracefully invite that feeling into your life. So let's see what's going on with feelings for you guys. Because, um, uh, hmm. This card could come out many different ways here. Many different ways. So, I, I, honestly, what I'm getting here is, like, you guys are just trying to develop feelings, period. Um, open up yourself to being receptive to experiencing um, emotions again like loving emotions nurturing emotions other than you giving it to yourself it's about receiving uh those types of nourishment feelings from some from another place from another source other than yourself and god it's like being open and receptive to feelings from other people please clarify these feelings for scorpio for february You got the ten of inspiration in the first. So, yeah, you guys have most definitely offloading any type of burdens that you do not wish to carry. It's been some like you're so close to achieving and obtaining what it is that you've been on this journey and this path and that you've been working for. So you may be looking at the things that you've been carrying. I don't I'm getting um the feeling of Someone having like a overstuffed book bag in their back. I mean, they have books that are like this thick, like two or three of them in this little freaking book bag. And the book bag is probably like 20 or 30 pounds. And it's like you're trying to walk up this hill with like a 30 pound book bag on your back. And it's like you cannot carry like for real, for real, sit down and read the book. Once you sit down and read it, you don't need to carry the book anymore. The book is in your brain. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, legitimately, that's what I'm getting. Like, sit down and just take some time and just read the book. And sit the book there so whoever walks on that same journey, they can sit down and enjoy the same book. And it's like paying it forward. Like, you don't need to carry this stuff. You don't need to carry this stuff. Because once you put it in your mind, leave it somewhere else on your same path, your same footsteps. They're going to stumble across that book. They're going to need it too. So leave it there so it could be a resource for someone else. You don't need it anymore. Like You don't need to carry this information anymore. Does that make any sense, you guys? They're saying something about you not need, you, like you don't need to be the carrier of information no longer. What is this? The two of inspirations, the two of wands. So. They're saying, like, allow other people, like, you don't need to be the carrier of information anymore. Allow other people to. Go along this journey and, and, and trace your footsteps. And it's time for you to go and do something different, you guys. It's something about you guys sitting down. A burden of some sort. It's like you guys sitting it down. And allowing someone else to do it. It's time for you to go on and experience something else. You got the six of inspiration. So this is like. Let someone else carry the torch. It's your turn to be a star in another realm and something else. When you get to the other side, remember I said you guys are so close. You can't carry all of that stuff on your back because it's slowing you down. Like It's like you need to show up on time. You got to be there on time. And it's like there's this path, there's this destiny, and you don't see it. 
And I really feel like you do not see it. You don't even see yourself approaching it. You don't even under... I don't even think that you have any understanding of why you need to experience this. Why you're having to put something down and let somebody else do it is because you're not meant to do that anymore. It's like you're meant to be a star. Um, and you're supposed to leave those books there because it's like you're supposed to educate people about your journey so that they can go along that same path and pick up those books. You see, it's like, you see how those six women are up under her? It's like it's going to be six great people that come up under you. It's like you created that. And you create and you made them a star. It's something about some path that you took. That you inspire people and that they decide to follow. It's like your followers. You're following. You don't see it. It's, it. I don't even think that you see yourself as a star at all. At all. Emotions want to be felt. You really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it. Allow me, dear divine, to offer all emotions to you. Feeling them so that they no longer hold me captive. So it's like, you have some type of following. Um, I don't want to say like a cult following. I don't like cult following. But it's like, I'm going to say like some type of leader in some type of way. And... In order for these people to do it, they got to see you do it first. But I don't think that you understand. I, I, it's like you, you don't understand that it needs to go that way. I don't know. I had to kick her out from when I just did leave her. So we like, just going to go ahead. Give me two guidance here for the general energy here. Because you're not understanding why you're happy. It's like you're having to pass the torch down toil and labor it's like i want to say it's like too much work it's like you've been putting in too much extra work in something it's time for you to pass the torch down um it's like a lot of hard work in the main female so There's, it's like an overworked industry. Whatever it is, in, whatever it is, they're saying like it's an overworked industry. You're made and your purpose is to be a star. But people can't see you in an overworked industry. You're meant to be the star. You're meant to be the main female in something. You're the main star. You're the one that hold people captive. You're the one that people are inspired by. You don't see it. And you don't understand why your path is being led somewhere else. And you're having to put this torch down and give it to other people. Allow other Allow the other people that have been inspired by what you're doing to pick up the torch and put in the hard work. Because... They're gonna to have to put in the same hard work that you did because you didn't you did you did not make it here without toil and labor. Like you put in a lot of work. And because you put in all that work, you deserve to be on a different plateau so that you can coach and aid others, your followers. You're a leader. You're a leader. You shine differently. Like this burden wasn't meant for you to carry all the way. It was to teach people how to start the journey, if that makes any sense. So, you, someone here is having feelings about having to put the torch down and to pass the torch to someone else. It is your lane, but it's your lane to guide people to help follow you there. Put those books down, allow them to educate so that they can be where you are today. And then eventually be... 
at the place where you are going to be tomorrow. Does that make sense? I hope that's making sense. Um, you got Belanca Del Rio in regards to love. Let's see what this says. It says a unicorn is a horse with extra potential. Come on now. True love is clearly illegal in most states. <laughs> Everyone needs that special someone who can stroke your hair while you cough with your head in the toilet. Yes! <laughs> I love Bianca Del Rio. I'm oh, sorry. She did me with that one. That is true love. No bullshit. Like, in sickness or poor. Listen, do you hear me? I'm talking about when y'all done had so much fun that y'all done got drunk sick. Like, but y'all had a ball. Like, the whole... Yo, I'm sorry. Like, I love Bianca Del Rio for that because that's the type of relationship I want. I want a type of relationship with me and my man go out and hit the Vegas strip and we partying like shit. I want me and my man my husband to be my own best friend i want that to be my role dog like we really just like have a blast but also have that very home and loving dynamic but like my partner in crime like yeah set up there and get drunk with me and will just nurse me back to help and we get up <laughs> shit it's only saturday we still <laughs> we gonna get up and do it again <laughs> <laughs> and go home <laughs> on Sunday and take care of the kids on Monday. Hello, how you doing? So, in this like, when you really do think of it, is true love really legal? Because we got all of these failed marriages. We got all of these people pressed to be in love that don't really love each other. But people that truly love each other, it don't have anything to do with gender, what color, what shape size, race, sexual orientation, motherfuckers that really love each other, they act like they're not free to love. How does that make sense? True love, when you see people that are truly in love with each other, I mean, love each other like they saying like this. Listen, it says a unicorn is a horse with extra potential. We ain't no different from everybody else. That's just like this star right here. The same, even though this person is the star, this person went through the same fucking journey. The toil and labor. This shit ain't come overnight. Toil and motherfucking labor, bruh. Just like you. But just got a little extra potential. That's the only thing a star is. Just like a motherfucker. Just like you. But you see something a little different in itself. Just got an extra potential. Extra potential. Hmm. Let's see what's going on in love. Says that you're a rare unicorn, Scorpio. That's that unicorn. That pink Power Ranger unicorn pussy energy, honey. Okay. That's a super. <laughs> That's that super soaker right there. Lord, you. Okay. No, 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 no. I, I, I got it. We're not, we not doing no karmic relationships. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. So I need three cards. Thank you very much. We is not reading no book today. We are not doing. It. Okay. Give me three cards for Scorpio, my love. Thank you so much. For February. You got Paradise. Give me two more cards. Thank you for Scorpio. You got Date and then you got the Clock. Okay, now. Alright, girl. You got Paradise. Date and then the, you got the Clock in the reverse. So, I, I feel like the, the clock is ticking, you guys. The clock is ticking. Like, pay attention to the time. I mean, even though, you know, we there's always time. But is it? But is it? Hmm. Seems like paradise here. 
you guys um are focusing on like true happiness comfortable comfortable experiences like waking up every day feeling like you're in paradise you ever been on a date with someone and you woke up and you looked over next to you hold on now now i'm hearing um What's her name? It's something that uh, it feels like paradise. I want to give you all my love. Yeah. Who is that? She's from D.C. too. Um, and it not feel like paradise. I feel so damn bad that I don't know her name. Oh, my God. She's from the DMV area, too. Oh, what is her name? Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's killing me. But anyway, I feel like you guys, um, please open up your mind to dating. If you guys have been kind of closed off to dating, I want you guys to like open your heart, open your mind to experience the want and the belief that that love is real. I want to say that the way this Scorpio person is looking is like, Either it's like I don't have time for love, I don't have time for dating, or I feel like I'm getting older and like the time is running out. Like, you know, you really do want this paradise. You want something that you wake up every day with no regrets. Like, you feel like this paradise is your home. Like, when you look into the eyes of that person, it's like you almost get lost in that and everything. There is so much more time than what you think is available. I understand that we are all getting older, but true time is limitless. And when you really look at things, there is divine time in it play. I want to say you guys definitely don't have the time to be playing around. That's one thing I know you guys don't have time for. But when is there really the appropriate time to find love? There is no appropriate time. It just happens. Do you understand? It just happens. Some people find it younger. Some people find it at older age. Like. There are certain. Like I, I'm serious. There are certain people that. They've been through relationships. But they didn't probably find their true love. Until they got in their 40s. Like, all of that other shit that they did before was child's play. Was child's play. It wasn't until they got mature, seasoned, and grown and actually went through a couple karmic situations. You know, that's why when that karmic situation, that karmic uh, relationship card, it fell out in the reverse, thank God. But, number one, it was too much stuff that spilled out on the table. And we've been through that shit already. That's why I put it back. And that was too much going on. Way too much going on. So... Something is about to open up. The Paradise card says happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. And then you guys definitely have to date here. Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan, set a date. I want to say that if you guys don't have time... Make some time. And don't feel like you don't have any time or time is running too short. Everything is right on time. It says need, need time, takes time, in time, cycle, time to heal, progress. I definitely feel that you already healed and everything. So let's go over here and see what the Kipper, don't Skipper got to say about this love life in this dating situation it's about a rare love a special love true love is clearly illegal in most states because the type of love that we trying to get scorpio that's not the shit that these motherfuckers is marrying for they marrying just for propaganda and bullshit we marrying we want the connection for something that is real something that is rare like, the type of shit that we want is damn near unspoken of. You don't even hear people talking about that type of love and, like, people really dating anymore. Listen, you guys said mature man. You guys want a mature, 
man someone that oh i like that i like that globe right there and i like those books in the back well educated well traveled understand that this world is just bigger than their neighborhood if y'all ever dated someone where it's like they talk like the only thing going on in this world is what's going on in your neighborhood what's going on in your neighbor in, 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 in your area like there's not other states like there's not other like this world is so much bigger than what's going on in your current state of existence you need a mature man or you as a man Scorpio has definitely matured and it's like you looking for something different give me one more card and then you got the mature woman and then you got concerns mature man and mature woman and then concerns so you got him thinking about her, her thinking about if there's a possibility of him, and then both of you guys having concerns about the possibilities of each other. So this man just wants a mature woman. After everything that he's learned, after all the places that he's been, after everything that he's been through, he don't have no time for no bullshit. And his concerns is about time because time waits for no one and they're getting older. They're finally thinking about opening up their feelings to dating again, but only for a mature woman. Only. Only for someone that could bring them the true paradise that they deserve. That's the same feelings of this woman here. So, I like this. I like this. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. So let's see what's going on here. These concerns is kind of like what is frightening me because and I like the lilies in the in the background because the lilies represents maturity. It's like honoring and paying respects to something, being very dignified, you know? So it's like if I was to truly meet a mature man or if this man was to truly meet a mature woman, someone that is truly rare, someone that don't have no time for playing, someone that only wants newness, true happiness, and paradise in their life, that will open up the doors to conversation where they will really start thinking about feelings. No longer thinking about setbacks. All that shit is done. And for real, and for people, if you guys have some type of followers or something, your followers are going to get to it. They, it's like you're going to do it first. And they're following your footsteps. It's like people are following your footsteps. It's you have to pass the torch and allow other people. You have you have to allow other people. To pick up on what you're doing so that you can focus on your life and focus on the things that you're feeling. And even though you don't understand why you're having to take a break and stop and let other people shine right now. You need to let other people shine so that you can be, time can free up so it can be open for this. Because right now I feel like why you're so busy leading this group or... Focusing on your legacy or whatever this is, it's like, because even if you look at this, it's like you see, it's this, this legion of people following in this footstep. It's like you have some burden of showing people the way of something. And it's like you've led people to the point where they can show their self, gracefully bow out, and they will respect your feelings. Trust me. Because you don't even know why you're having to go. You're just knowing that God is telling you that you need to set this down. Leave those books, everything that you've learned. Leave it there. So they can pick up where you left off. Because you got a second part of the chapter of the story to tell. They're still learning the journey. This part is the actual life. 
experience that follows the journey. If they don't understand the journey and the path. They don't understand the toil and the labor and the work. They will never be able to be successful in the life experience. See, there's still people that follow you and that are watching your footsteps and your footprint. And they're going through the toil and labor and they may be still complaining. They don't understand why God is not making it easy for you. It's not intended to be easy. It's to see who's worth and worthy of the fight. You understand who's worthy of continuing the fight in order to be able to be the star. If you can't put up with the fight and if you can't keep up with the journey and if you're so quick to give up. No, you don't give up until God tells you to put that burden down. And when God tells you to put the journey, that, that, that burden down and that journey down and it's because it's no longer your path. Time is up for that. It's time for the next phase. 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 Something that you ain't even had no thoughts of because God had you on a different mission. Where you were leading people. Now it's not time for you to lead. It's time for you to listen. And follow where God wants you to go. So, I'm, I'm serious. You got the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse here. So... Over here with this situation, I want to say like whatever this is that you were doing, I definitely don't feel like you were doing it for money. You were not doing it for money. You were doing it because you love doing it. You were doing it because it created a family. You were doing it because it was helping people learn how to regenerate their self after they lost everything. You may have lost material things, but you ain't never lose yourself. And if anything, you gained so much from what you've had to let go so that you can regenerate more. So it's something where they're saying like a life token. It's like a life token. Um, oh, oh, okay, okay. It's like, um, like you ever play Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, those little life tokens or something like that? I don't know why I'm getting like playing a game like a life token or something like that. It's like um, exchanging something of a material matter for a life token. So it's like you've inspired. And remember, this is the six of inspiration. So you've inspired people that when all else fails and things that um, should have worked didn't. How to exchange a whole bunch of shit that ain't nothing but material value and exchanging it for a new life token. So that's like, you know, at one point in time, all of this stuff, it gave me a lot of wealth. It gave me a lot of wealth. But if I could give you all of this shit back or if I could give it to someone else and... They can focus on this so I can start all over and I get a brand new life token. It's worth the exchange. So, it's you guys are, uh, start giving people inspiration and start over. Like, all else isn't lost. Like, if you got to give that relationship, that marriage, that business, that whatever, to start over. Start all over again. A brand new life where you can start from the beginning. How many people have been given that chance to be able to start that life over fresh from the beginning and create whatever it is that they want it to be? Like, that's what you have inspired in people. This is the Nine of Swords in the reverse over some type of nightmare. Like, it's like positive thinking. It's like you guys are not even focus and then you got the ten of wands but look at this when you see how it's like you have like a someone with you that is helping you carry those baskets of fruits it's like you're not 
having to do it and show other people by yourself on how to finish out this journey. It's like you're finishing out this journey with your partner in tow. So, <laughs> Scorpio, let me see what these other cards are. This is the Justice in the Reverse, and then the Ace of Chalices in Reverse. So, I'm going to put it to you like this. You went through a point in your life where it seems like you were living a nightmare of uh, trying to control your own thoughts. And I want to say that's where a lot of the toil and labor went through. It went through you sorting out your own feelings about certain shit that you had to let go. Because clearly there was somebody that lost something. It could have been a family. It could have been a job. Went through some type of hardship where they had to rebuild and start all over. And, and it looks like this has to do with the relationship and love. Um, or again, just a big investment. Like your house. You know, like having to sell your house or let go of your house and have to go build another one, go build another family. Like, you know, this is something like serious, you know what I'm saying? Where you felt like that was the begin all in all to have to start all over again. So you no longer like allow your mind to be muddled with like negative thoughts anymore. Um. Even you've even blocked like negative communication. Um, you don't listen to trigger music. You don't hang around old people that tell you bullshit about stuff you don't want to hear about. It's like you've completely transformed and shown people how to transform. I want to say even through through your struggles, through your cries, through your tears. Like I want to say like people have been able to witness it all, witness it all, and seeing how you. Position yourself as the main female. In life in general. The importance of being. The one and the only one. Do you understand what I'm saying? Balance. With that number two. With this justice in the reverse. This justice in the reverse. Um, you definitely feel like some of the things that you went through. Was not fair. You definitely feel like some of the people that you were around did not love you. But with the good comes the bad. And with the bad, showing up comes the good. So, with you relinquishing these day-to-day -day on and off thoughts about how something didn't work out in your favor. Um, it's like how something didn't work out in your favor. And you might have felt... That, like, how do I say this? It's like, how can I love somebody else when I'm really truly just beginning to love myself? Do you understand? I feel like a lot of the bad experiences and a lot of the things that you went through is because you truly didn't know yourself. You weren't truly balanced inside. And you didn't, if you don't know yourself for real, how the hell are you going to love yourself? That's what the whole journey was about. That's what the toil and labor was about. It was about working on yourself, working on your thoughts, on your mind. Because these thoughts create experiences. If I'm continuously having negative thoughts around myself, I'm going to create negative experiences. And then, then you're right, I'm not going to be able to attract true love. Right? You have the Ten of Wands here. You have the Ten of Wands here. I don't feel like through everything that you went through, it wasn't meant for you to finish out this battle by yourself. It's like somewhere in the middle of your journey, in the middle of the road. It's like you had it in your mind like you were supposed to get to this finish line by yourself. You were supposed to show these people how to like... Be strong enough and to carry this burden, how to inspire people and bring people with you. And you are doing that. But you're not, you're not walking 
through that threshold, through the other side, you're not claiming this victory alone. Because in the middle of your pathway, God told you to stop carrying the burden of trying to carry these other people and just put those books down, allow them to continue to study your path and your work and allow them to don't carry them. Leave them to their own studies, just like how I left you. Because you had to go through your tour and labor. Did nobody do that shit? Did nobody help you? You were the main woman that helped yourself. Right? So, it's your turn to leave those books right there. Allow them to walk by themselves. They already seen what you did. They're following in your footsteps, in your footprints, in your imprint. Right? They're already following what you've shown them. Allow them to pick up that book and continue to take these next steps by themselves while at the same time seeing why I made you. Focus on yourself. Because you, can, you cannot, listen, you cannot be here. You cannot be here while you're carrying the burden of trying to show all of these other people away. When are you going to take the time out for yourself? You cannot. And God is not going to let you because they have to do their own work as well. You've already given them the footsteps. This is the second set of footsteps. They have to see the end result of you doing this. And you learning to listen. When God tells you to stop and put down the burden, just like he told you to don't worry about this one over here. God said, I got you. We starting over. Right? No more worries. No more stress. No more. It may seem, listen, it may seem like it was unfair justice and you went through a hard time. Listen, we already said you went to toilet labor. But it wasn't, it was, it wasn't for naught. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying here. You're walking through to this victory with help. When all odds were against you, when everybody thought that you were going to lose, look, you were halfway to the finish mark, and God still told you, you a star. So let them enjoy watching you go to the finish line so you can truly inspire because if you did it, every last one of these people, all of these people, and they're going to understand why God told you to put the burden down on helping them. They got it. And they're still watching you. And they're still going to support you. And you still have yet to finish your story because they don't know your glory. They don't know what God got on you. And when God tell you to put some shit down, listen, listen, you ain't helping them walk the journey no more because they going to learn how to walk themselves. And I'm trying to tell you about six of the motherfuckers, <laughs> they going to be some bad ass motherfuckers. I'm trying to tell you, oh my God, <laughs> about six of these motherfuckers really going to get it. And what I'm trying to tell you that they gonna get it, they gonna get it. Baby, what I'm trying to tell you, you gonna be so proud when you watch the people that you influence and see how they shine and they come up after you. Woo! You gonna be so glad, whatever the fuck that is that you lost in the past, you gonna be so glad. You gonna be so glad because God got a different purpose for you. His purpose different. This is Scorpio. Let me get the fuck up out of here. I gotta go. This has been a lot. This has been a lot. I love you. Continue to love yourself. Peace.